Hello, and welcome to the start of another Let's Play for Civ 6. I needed to do a proper intro video for Movemba here because I sort of dallied around and uh, took a couple games to get a good one going um, for the YouTube series. So real quick, um, you cannot found a religion as Movemba. Uh, and it's weird because then they also give you apostles, which can have some uses. Um, can do heathen conversion. You could convert some barbs to your side. You could also turn them into martyrs and go get relics, um, which synergizes with Nikisi, um, which gives you food production and gold for each relic, artifact, and sculpture, which makes him super good at uh, a cultural victory. Um, you get extra production, food, and gold out of that. Like that's those are really sick economies to add. Um, and you also get double writer, artist, and musician, and merchant points. Um, so as far as going for a culture victory, uh, Movemba's top tier, and, and it's not even close. Um, he's, he's just far and away the best. The double, I mean, really, a culture victory is all about getting those great works, and um, doubling the, your points is, is disgusting. You'll, you'll see in this game that uh, we've got a fair amount of great people points going on. Um, so in addition to that, uh, top tier, you get five slots for great works in your palace too, which is actually nice because sometimes it takes a little while to get your theater squares going with amphitheaters and different things like that. Um, so top tier for culture. Um, you also get your unique swordsman, which gets an extra 10 strength against defending against range attacks and gets some extra mobility moving through woods and rainforest, which is really, really good. Um, probably one of my favorite unique units. Good for assaulting a city because they don't take the, um, you know, you could, you could surround a city with a bunch of, uh, bunch of your swordsmen and uh, a battering ram and uh, take it pretty quick because they get the extra strength against range attacks. So between that and promotions should be able to sustain pretty nicely. Um, and finally, they get the Mabanza, which is a unique neighborhood. Um, it gives flat five housing versus being based on appeal. Uh, and then you also get food and gold out of that tile, which is interesting. Um, you can build really, really tall with the Congo. Um, so that is, that's his strength, and um, you, you don't want to go too tall, because for, for culture, you still want probably 8 to 12 cities, something like that, uh, just so you have enough, uh, enough museums, enough archaeological museums, things like that, so that you can, uh, you know, have, have a, a decent amount of tourism at the end of the game, um, which we, we, we do get up to, uh, spoilers. Um, so anyways, that's, uh, that's just a, a quick, quick intro. Um, I believe we play this game on Deity with Continents, um, kind of our typical setup. I, I believe that's how we set it up. It's been a little while, but I uh, wanted to give you one of these just in case you enjoy them. And if not, hopefully you skipped right to the main uh, meat of the Let's Stream challenge. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.